Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. It's great to see you, and it's great to see our good friend, Bill Jordan. Hi, Bill, guys. Welcome. Thank good you. Thanks you. for having me back. What's up with you, Bill? Uh, I am uh, in a fit of curiosity about my my past, not my immediate past of my own life, but my heritage. And I am uh, very curious about the genealogy tests that are out there, the Ancestry.com, the 23andMe, the CRI Genetics or whatever it is. There's like three or four companies out there that I'm researching and I am tempted to do this. My brother did it through 23andMe. And for reasons that I do not scientifically understand, because I am not a scientist, nor did I ever play one on television, nor did I stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, but I am told that just because your brother or a close family member has a DNA test does not mean it's going to be the same as your DNA test. I don't know why that is. It's probably a way for them to make more money. <laughs> whenever you do, whenever you don't know the answer to something, the answer is money. Am I, I not? Phil, Phil, sometimes when you don't know the answer to something, it's better to leave well enough alone. It may be, but I just I'm, I want to know our heritage. My brother did his, and we got a couple of surprises from it. And my baseline on on feeling that it was an accurate test was that we know that my paternal grandmother, my dad's mom, was one hundred percent German or from Germany anyway. And so we knew that then he and I, my brother and I, would be 25% German. And sure enough, his DNA test came back like 25, 26% German. Also thought that we would be English because we both have, I think he's got blue eyes. I've got green eyes. My oldest brother has blue eyes. So we thought maybe we would be English, but we weren't. 25% Scott, Irish, Welsh. Ah. But the curveball was 25% Scandinavian which in my mind, I hear Viking yeah, because it's cool, <laughs> right? We've got miniseries and movies and all that kind of stuff about us. Yeah. But, and, and the Vikings uh, overtook Ireland and Scotland right. and sure. Wales. So that lines up. And then the other curveball was 12% Iberian Peninsula, which would be Spain, Portugal, and Dora. So we weren't expecting anything like that. And then a few longer, you know, lower percentages, including even Africa. Which, uh, I mean, I, I'm just curious. I want to see if these line up, see if we match. And if they can point to any uh, genealogy about great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, can they take this back further and further? Well, I Bill, would love to know this stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the um, genetic testing really doesn't find anybody for you. They, I mean... They, they don't know when your which ancestor or when came from Spain. It could have been 20 generations ago. Well, I think what they do is they match the DNA from all the samples that come in. For example, my brother's DNA test did find for him at least what they claim to be a couple of, I think, second cousins in Virginia or Ohio or something right. like that. So they have found what they say are relatives from one way or another. Father's side, mother's side. So well, I think, uh, and it's not that I'm interested in finding people like that. I would kind of like to know. Yeah, if you've got a great great grandfather Grog from Norway <laughs> who, who had a big Viking helmet, I mean, I, I mean, I would kind of like to know that. You may, you, you know? may find out though that you are related to either trolls or Visigoths <laughs> or Tunnel of the Hun. But uh, getting back to more serious note for a moment. So I, I, I think that uh, uh, one of the, some of the things that differentiate these testing services is some tests for ancestry. Uh, some uh, will just say, maybe part of the thing will say, well, given your blood and your genes, you're, you know, 13% uh, uh, from uh, Spain and 42% in your background from different areas. Others will look for, oh, maybe an expanded version of that for you know, right. an extra couple of bucks, they'll say, here's the first generation of ancestors that we found. I know the Mormons have an extensive database like that. Yes. But right. others, yes. like I think 23andMe is primarily for genetic issues, uh, or maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong with that, to say what, what kind of uh, things are you maybe predisposed to? Yeah, there are, like subsets, there, there are subsets for that. As you say, for a few extra bucks, and it's, it's for more than a few extra bucks, but yeah, they can do your uh, medical 
predisposition to cancers or different conditions like that. Now that uh, would there's, be useful. Yeah, that would be very important. Well, no, that's another question too. Do you really want to know? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not sure. I really want to know that. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I would. I'm more interested in where I came from, maybe, than what where, I might get. Oh, and where you're going. And well, where I, know I'm that, going. I know a lot of uh, uh, women, particularly, um, are interested in getting a genetic test. Uh, not for many of these services, but they go to a doctor for the BRCA gene uh, because it's uh, a, an indicator of a propensity or a predilection for breast cancer sure. and things like that. Yeah. So I think uh, if I were a woman, that would be important to me. I quite frankly haven't given it much thought because uh, unlike uh, you and uh, John that probably have these amazing backgrounds, I, you know, I don't know who I might be. I, I might be threatening to put one of my, my relatives in, in jail because they'll find out that uh, my DNA is a close match to, uh, you know, uh, a mass murderer someplace. Uh, and quite frankly, I think you guys should be concerned about that too. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it gets that deep into what their criminal history may have been, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's It just fascinates me. It's just, again, I, I'm a curious guy. I've always been curious. I hope I never lose my curiosity and my heritage or genealogy or whatever you want to call it, uh, background historically is uh, just kind of fascinating to me. And I think it's the, has become so the older I get. Well, well you know, genealogy mm -hmm. is the number one uh, hobby, I guess you call it, uh, for people over 50, for people in their second act. It's, it's the number one without question, hands down, um, the number one pastime. I guess. Oh, really? Um, I thought I thought it was quilting. <laughs> not quilting. for me. Oh, or chess. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's genealogy. So you're not alone. I mean, you're not alone. It's a very common um, curiosity, I guess. I, I can tell you that uh, nobody under 30 gives a shit about, <laughs> <laughs> about their past because I, I witness my grandchildren who say, Grandpa, enough of the stories. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. It, is, it must boomer. be something to do with getting older. But so, yeah. I have I have an important Probably. question to ask you. But uh, uh, I, you know, you you bring out uh, I, I can't hide things. Once I've spoken to you, the the uh, the great philosopher, uh, and I have to admit that I I have been interested in my genealogy. In fact, I have tried on a pair of jeans for the first time in about eight or nine months, and I'm proud to announce. Uh, happy to announce that they still fit. <laughs> well, that's nice. And your great-grandfather was Levi Strauss, I'm understanding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and my your, real- and your, and your maternal grandfather is named Lee something. Right. So there, there's, there's two things I want to ask you. Uh, uh, and uh, I'd like you to wax poetic on it or, or just tell us uh, the truth. Is uh, you, if you go ahead and have this testing and you need to have additional testing that's very expensive, uh, I'll start a GoFundMe for you. <laughs> so, you know, the cover the four hundred thousand dollars is going to cost to find out, you know, that you you live in the the southeastern U.S. So that would be important to know. But if uh, you do go ahead and get this testing, I'm sure you're going to reveal this on uh, your Facebook page or your website. Yeah. So where yeah. can people go? Where can people go to find out about uh, who you were? Oh, well, I mean, I'm on Facebook, uh, Bill Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N, and on my public page where anybody can access and follow along. It's a picture of my Embrace the Boom mug, I think. that That's me. Uh, I've got a personal page, too, for people I know in real life, such as you guys. Um, and also on uh, YouTube, I've got an Embrace the Boom channel. And just type in Embrace the Boom at the top, and you'll get links to uh, my YouTube videos about my 15 practices to help us lead a better, more fulfilling life, regardless of our age, including, of course, baby boomers. That's the focus. Well, that's great. Right. Well, uh, uh, well, good luck on your search. Uh, <laughs> please do tell us. But until uh, we get together again, I would recommend to everybody that they embrace the boom. Yeah, the, the full line I've got is live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. That's what it's all about, guys. Thanks for having me back. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube.
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.